It's disappointed. I think, um, first of all, I give a lot of credit to UT Arlington. They're a really good team. I mean, it's, just, it's basically the same group of guys that came in and took us to overtime last year. Um, and, you know, our guys knew coming in that, uh, that they were a really good team. Um, so I, I, I don't think for our players it was it was uh, any type of surprise. In fact, I, I, I thought we had a very good approach to start the game. Um, you know, defensively, we really you know, had some very good possessions at the beginning of the game. Obviously, you know, struggled to shoot the ball throughout the game. And I think, you know, as you know, sometimes what happens is, you know, when you're when you're shooting uh, or your offense isn't going the way you want it to go as a team or as an individual, sometimes there's a there's a residual effect, you know, that it has on on, on your defense, and that's not acceptable. Uh, you know, we've got to get better at that, uh, and we will. Um. As a team, I say first half we came out uh, being the aggressors, and you just kind of got died down from there. Um, there's something we got to work on on the team to be better. Well, is it as just simple as not making shots, or should or should should it be a better result even when the shots are falling? Uh, it should be a better result when even though the shots not falling. Uh, we talked about that in the locker room. Like, what else can you do to get yourself going, get the team going? not just about you. Uh, I think that's like one of our biggest problems early in the season and we're going to get better at that part because we have to.